Whenever Andrew and Dammy mess up, they make their other halves breakfast to apologise. No idea what they do when they don't have to apologise. Hasn't happened yet. What are you saying? I didn't think I was going to be able to do it, boy. Woo! How'd you flip? Yeah, I flipped it, man. We ain't getting any of them. For the past few days, obviously, I'm trying to, like... I was trying to think of, like, things to do, like, you know, to obviously, like, you know, make India feel better, just nice things to do for her. So today, we came up, we just, we both decided that we just use the day bed together, just make it a double date. So we made the pancakes, uh, bacon, smoothies, just, you know, give the girls a variety of stuff. It was like trying to do the little things, like, you know, make the girls happy, obviously. It's the climb back, you know, so we're still climbing. Come with us to the day bed. Hmm? We're going to date, but yeah. yeah. Oh, change. Oh no, I can't do this. What is it? Really? Relax. Yeah. Just relax. Don't be just so. Enjoy I, thought it. It just, I thought it was just pancakes. Oh yeah. I'm gonna vomit. No. Why are you gonna vomit? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. odd when it's like couples club over there, isn't it? Yeah. This is so cute. What I'll be back because I feel like Maybe. somebody forgot to get the forks and knives. <laughs> Someone, yeah, may have. Don't know who that was. Uh, if you look behind you, you've got a smoothie. God. It's so, you know, this is really sweet, but it's the, the circle. <laughs> there you go. Oh, thank you. Let me see that. I love creativity. Well, we had to get creative. E, mm. A for effort. A for effort. This is like, <laughs> this is A star plus. Oh, A star plus. A All effort. right. Thank you. Yeah, you dig have... in. Oh, we feel Very like cool. you guys definitely have deserved yeah, it. Yeah, you do deserve it, so that's why. Aww. Which one do you drink? And we this... want you to be happy. So go on, ladies. Enjoy. Yeah, enjoy. A little picnic enjoy every date. Bite. There's no rush. Just enjoy it. How was your sleep last night? Yeah, how was your sleep? Basically, we want to get back inside. <laughs> Not well. Yeah. We're tired of sleeping outside now. We, we, <laughs> we, we like being outside, but we, we've had enough. Mm. Really? We want a... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah. Oh. We want uh, a recovery oh. time. Me and Tasha... Yeah, we're in a very good place at the moment. I know I've got to do a bit of grafting, but, you know, I'm, I'm positive I'll, uh, I'll win her over. They are in a very good place. It's a luxury villa with panoramic views of the Mallorcan countryside. What a place. Over on the sofa, Luca and Jax are having a catch-up. What are you saying now? Huh? Not sure. I'm just going to try to get back to myself. You'll get there. Bad. What did she say about the conversations with him? She's not going to go there. I know she isn't. But she wants me thinking that she is, I think. Listen, Jack's obviously really likes Paige. Um, and he's done what he's done, and he's made a mistake. And now Adam's come in, and Paige's kind of eyes have lit up. But is it, is it more to get back at Jack's, or is it because she actually likes Adam? Who knows? He knows what he's doing when he talks to girls. I don't think he wants to settle down till he's 40, 50 years old, probably. He's no, just I'm loving the life. I'm not bothered what he wants to do. I'm, I'm, I just want to sort this for Paige. Jax is struggling with not having Paige around. I get it. There's nothing worse than a missing Paige. And she's finding it tough too. I've just been doing some, like, thinking. And, like, there's no denying of what me and Jax have. But after Cass, I was like, look, it, your communication, the way you address things, like, it's not fair and it's yeah. not OK. Like, it needs to be something you work on. And then he just doesn't, do you know what I yeah. mean? And it's just, like, actions literally speak so much louder than words. So if you yeah. say you're going to do something, can you, like, follow through and do it sort of thing? Yeah. And then, like, he goes into the whole defence thing again. I'm just like, these are all the things I'm asking you to work on. Yeah. You're still not grasping not it. So, like, that's, like, stressing me out and pissing me off because, like, like I said, I'm not here to, like, nurture someone into being a better person and yeah. to being like a, a boyfriend material like you yeah. either are or, or you're, you're not. not i feel like you have to put yourself first mm -hmm. and it's like i feel like you are being very understanding like you've given him chances and whatever but if this is how he is dealing with things now what is it going to be like on the outside mm -hmm. do you know what i mean because obviously yeah there's people in here there's adam but on the outside it's going to be 10 times this worse is what I was it's saying. not just going to be adam walking through that door it's going to be a whole load of people and if that's how he's going to behave then i don't know like i know what i deserve and i know what i want from life and i know what i want from a guy and a, rela a relationship and truthfully speaking is jack's meeting all my standards right now no he's not um is that upsetting a hundred percent because 
like the way I am drawn to him and the connection I do have with him is something that I've not really had before. Like, it's just upsetting to think what could have been, could have been something really, really special, but how he's put his actions at the minute just are not, they're not up to scratch.